There are only five in the world, each one located in Cameron County. The Army Corps of Engineers says each of those resacas are at risk. Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez with the impact on the ecosystem if the resacas were to dry up. It's tonight's special report. This is the first part of a report from the Army Corps of Engineers. In it, it sums up what would happen to not only the ecosystem, but the environment and the wildlife if the last remaining resacas in the world were to disappear. The memories date back more than 50 years. And we would make our fishing pole. And as you can see, it's a straight pin. And then we make our little glass and we had extra pins so we could uh, go fishing. And we would just sit there and, and the Rosaka just hours and hours. Some don't have to look that far back for memories. Well, it's, it's part of our lives here in the valley. It's, that's part of my, my children's you know, future. I love my Rosaka. The recollections of days spent by Rosaka now damaged by this. It's terrible to see what I'm seeing right now here. Diane Garza's home sits at the edge of a Rosaka or at least it used to. In 2012, the Rosaka was dammed. Um, the ecological kill that happened after that was um, something you don't you don't want to witness. And the water that's that's in here right now, some of it's well water, and then the rest of it we had to buy. The water you're seeing here isn't naturally occurring. It comes from this pipe that's constantly pumping water into what used to be the Rosaka in Garza's backyard. We've done everything in our power as individuals to try to recover this part of, of the Rosaca del Rancho Viejo, but not everybody is able to do that. The dam cut off the water from one end of the Rosaca to another, effectively killing the natural ecology and animals in and around it. I saw that firsthand. The impacts of the dam are seen for miles. What looks like an open field used to be home to several species. Now these species are gone. This at that time was the deepest part of the natural Rosaka, and but it had little pits that were down in there that you never knew until there was no water. And these huge, incredibly rare fish species were caught there. Thousands of water wildlife were killed. Seashells still clutter the ground here. The land around it dried up. Dead. The invasive species of not only plants, but of animals starts coming in. The sea of brown and small pools of water are just one indication of the plight of the five Rosakas left in the world. Clearly something had happened uh, in the interim between the early part of the 20th century and, uh, and when I was running around uh, in the 50s and 60s. Retired professor of biology Larry Loft says Rosakas are too important to lose. Because it is a unique ecosystem. According to a report by the Army Corps of Engineers, numerous rare, threatened, and endangered species designated by the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department specifically depend on Rosakas. And the Rio Grande, you have to understand, was once one of North America's mighty rivers. And every year in the spring, it would swell from all the snow melt and the runoff from the mountains far to the west. And it would spread out across this delta. And in that process, the river would fluctuate north and south across the delta. And when it would move, it would leave, it would abandon its old courses, and those became the Rosacas. Over time, the Rio Grande changed course due to farming and urban development. The Rosacas were the key transmitter of water and, uh, and were the most important um, transmission points in the Rio Grande Delta. According to the study, because the Rio Grande is no longer allowed to naturally migrate, new Rosacas would not be formed and the unique and diverse Rosaca ecosystem would go extinct. Finally, the wildlife dependent on the Rosacas would take one more step toward extinction as well. But the Rosacas are kind of like the veins of lifeblood of all the nature that goes on in the lower Rio Grande Valley, and we're lucky to have them. We called Texas Parks and Wildlife for a better understanding of what a Rosaca does for the ecosystem. They tell us those Rosacas are vital for endangered species. They also help migratory patterns for animals like pelicans and cranes. County officials are now looking into why these Rosacas are dying, including BPUB making a task force teamed up with the Army Corps of Engineers to save the last five Rosacas in the world. 
Texas Parks and Wildlife also tells us resacas are vital for flood control. The more vegetation in a resaca, the less it's able to drain. In Cameron County, Cecilia Guguetis, Channel 5 News.